Magnetic resonance imaging, in short, MRI, uses magnetic fields to create images of the body. The main magnetic field in MRI is a strong static field that is never changed and is always on. Additionally, during an MRI scan, we switch on and off weaker magnetic fields, which we call gradients. Gradients are crucial to create images as we use them to locate where in the body the signal is coming from. To do this position encoding, the gradient has to follow a very specific trajectory over time. For example, the gradient might have to follow a path like this. Different types of MRI scans use different shapes of trajectories, depending on the type of image you want to get. Once the gradient has finished the trajectory, the data is sent to a computer, where it is reconstructed to create an image. In this example, we acquired an image of a brain. Functional MRI is a specific type of MRI scan which measures how different regions of the brain are active over time. It is a very important tool for researchers to study how the brain works. We hope that by better understanding the brain, we can find new methods for diagnosis and treatment of diseases which affect the brain. For functional MRI, you have to get images very quickly because you're trying to detect something that is changing over time. For this type of scan, the gradient's job is no longer the pleasant slow drive we showed before. Now the gradient is expected to follow a much more complicated trajectory very quickly. So as the gradient is whizzing along at high speed, things can start to go a little bit wrong. Especially when it is expected to drive a sharp corner. Once the gradient gets to the end of the trajectory, the data is fed to the image reconstruction computer as shown before. But the fact that the gradient did not follow the trajectory it should have can have pretty big consequences. You can see that the image that comes out does not quite look like the brain we saw before. Instead, there are a lot of strange things going on. The image is distorted, it is blurred, and there is even some part of the brain image totally in the wrong place. Why is this happening? This is because the gradient took a different path to what it was supposed to take, but the image reconstruction computer does not know this. It thinks the gradient took the perfect path. One way to solve this problem is to use a field camera, which is a device that can measure the gradient magnetic fields. This information is then passed on to the image reconstruction computer, which allows it to correct for the imperfections and produce a high quality brain image. This works great, but you do have to use the field camera every time that you do an MRI scan, which is a lot of work and not always possible in practice. There is an alternative. The gradients can be temperamental, but luckily for us, they are mostly pretty predictable. Being predictable means we can create a model that forecasts their behavior. This method allows gradients to go on more adventurous trajectories and therefore helps to make functional imaging faster and more flexible. These technical improvements will contribute to getting more accurate images of the brain, which we hope will allow us to understand the brain a little bit better.